Hey y'all, I'm back with a mini album scrapbook process and I'll be working in my home album today. So this is my first process video for this album and these are my first couple of pages that I'm going to be sharing with you. And I'm just gathering my supplies at this point. I had created a stash kit uh, a little while back and I will link that video, I think I did it probably about three or four weeks ago and I'll link that video down below so that you guys can uh, check out how I put together this kit. So I'm just kind of organizing or trying to be as organized as possible before I get started and I'm going to try to stick to all the things that I have in this kit with the exception of some tools and some like staple things that I have sitting over to the right. So I'm going to start with, um, I'm going to open the front cover and right when I open it um, there is this uh, kind of craft half sheet and I am going to be working on the back side of that and then I'm also going to be working in the pockets that I've added. So this album is roughly about six by eight inches with the exception of kind of my half pages and um, kind of random size pages that I have uh, sandwiched in between the pocket pages and some of the other six by eight uh, pattern paper um, backgrounds. I did that just to kind of add just some like different elements to this album. I didn't want it to all be um, like one size. I wanted to kind of work with some different sized papers on each page and so I thought that was kind of a fun addition. I'm using tons of stuff from my stash and um, I will kind of walk you through that in my DIY like stash kit that I'm going to link down below but basically I have like lots of Studio Calico papers, I have some old hip kit club ephemera, I have some DIY ephemera that I created and I'll link that video down below as well and I have some different stickers like alpha stickers and um, some let's see uh, project life cards because I am working in some pocket pages and I also have chipboard and puppy stickers and things like that. So um, I have tons of stuff that I can use. I'll have a ton of stuff left over after I'm done with this album, but I really enjoyed putting this kit together. So now I'm working on the back side. I wasn't sure if I wanted to flip it over and do another um, side at this point. I actually I wanted to, I wasn't sure if I wanted to film it because I had already done sort of kind of two or kind of a full spread, I guess if you will. But um, the process went so quickly that I felt like I wanted to add something else and, uh, and especially into the video so you, got, you guys could see more of what I was doing. So I grabbed a label, I grabbed my photo, of course I had to print this photo actually, and uh, I am using the Love stamp set, I think, from uh, the Allie Edwards, um, is it the Love stamp set or is it Home? It's Home. It's the Home stamp set by uh, Allie Edwards from a kit a while back. And I stamped Heart Happy, I think, or Happy Heart, I think it's Heart Happy, on a little label. And then I stamped another little saying right underneath that. And I really wanted to stamp right on top of the... Um, photos there's so much white space but I like love when my photos have white space but I'm also super intimidated to work with those spaces and I think because I have in my mind I have so many thoughts of what I could do with it and I want to make sure that I like use it in the best way possible if that makes sense I don't know maybe some of you can relate to me with that but um, it's kind of like the fear of wearing your favorite outfit on a day where like 
you're not going to get noticed or something. I don't know. That was like how I, I'm not like that anymore. But in high school, I was like, I want to save that outfit for um, like the best dress of day ever. And then that day like hardly ever comes. So my point in saying that is I often find myself in that same, like I want to save the best photo or I want to save the best embellishment. And I don't know, I um, struggle with that from time to time. It's not like a big struggle or anything. It's just sometimes that during my process, I want to make sure that I get it the way that I want to. So I went ahead and laid down the word bath with some craft stickers by Studio Calico, and then I stamped out time with the narrow alphabet stamp set from Feed Your Craft. And I love that alphabet stamp set. I'll link their shop down below and add a little phrase sticker at the end. And that is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was super simple but and easy, but it, making the kit makes it 10,000 times easier. So I hope you guys will create your own kit and let me know how it goes. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.